Hello everyone, my name is Brian McCormick, you're watching MTG Rocks. Today we're going to be playing a Teferi deck in the Brawl event on MTG Arena. This is one of the favorite decks I've been running in Brawl. I've had a lot of success with it, playtesting today and yesterday. And uh, basically it's just a, a consistent blue-white control deck. We've got a lot of mass removal, we've got uh, uh, mind control effects, we've got card draw and counters. And uh, in front of it all we've got a Teferi Time Raveler, which uh, is just really solid. A uh, card against uh, any deck lets us bounce enchantments and creatures and uh, draw cards. And it's a three mana card, so we can play it, you know, turn three, turn five, turn seven, turn nine, and it just keeps creating good value for us over the course of the game. So we're going to go ahead and play with this. For this whole deck list, please go to the YouTube description and you will see it down there. And I think this deck is as powerful, if not better, than the Oko deck that uh, I play tested. You can go to YouTube and check my previous video. There's an Oko deck that we played that did really well. Oh, so we're playing against a Nim Mizzet deck, one of the more popular decks in Brawl right now. Remember, you can take free mulligans. I tend to do that if I have uh, only two lands or less. Um, three or four lands I'll keep, so we're fine here. Tails End, really good card, lets us counter uh, any legendary spell, so must include in any blue deck for Brawl. So we're gonna go ahead and unload our Teferi. And uh, he could run some removal here, so... You could tick down. I want to tick up. Here but we go. You could make an argument that there you would just want to draw a card because you're afraid of like an ingress rampage or something like that. But you know he does have to have the mana for the that kind of spell, and most of his lands are coming to play tapped because he's running a nimbus at that, or they're shot. All right, chromatic lantern. That's a good target for us to bounce. Got it. And we could play the Azorius Guildgate, or we could have Tails and Andovan's Veto available. I think I'll just play this. I don't think we need to use both of these next turn. It's unlikely. I mean, Dovin's Veto is probably to play here. Alright, we could play Kefnat and apply pressure, but I, I think there's a good chance that he could be able to play Nimiz at this turn, and I'd rather counter that. Uh, we can scry two as well at the end of the turn. Alright, so let's scry. Um, Gadwick. Do we want Gadwick here? Probably not. Yeah, more land is usually what you want when you're playing. Controlish strategy here versus another controlish deck. Alright, so now we've got pressure on the board and we can counter his move it, which is a good place to be. The Mizzet will counter that, of course. We can play the Magic Mirror now. I'll protect you. So he can play land and plays them, is it? But we couldn't counter it anyways. But now we got a magic mirror, so um, we can start using that to draw cards every turn. And we have no maximum hand size now. No, he's gonna destroy magic mirror. That's unfortunate for us. Do 
Do we want to return this? I don't really have any other artifacts or enchantments here, so... Don't worry, I got this. My skills are as sharp as my sword. I guess we're just trying to be aggressive with Kefnet. Maybe we'll, you know, usually we play long game here, but we might try and be aggressive in this case. Wonder prevents non-combat damage to our creatures, so damage effects will not kill our Kefnet. Also, let's just exile a creature with power 4 greater, such as Numizit. Think one, two, three, four, five. He could have played and visit that turn. But he's wary of a counter spell, I assume. No, I am not making this up as I go. Not gonna attack. That way I can chump block for the Wanderer or Teferi to save it. I'll do Teferi since I can recast it. And we need to remember to uh, scry at the end of our turn. Remember, we can scry and put something we want to use with Kefnet on top. I guess we could have attacked in Summary Judgment the Night of Autumn. Quench. Uh, not bad, but... I want to hit something better. That's better. Alright. So we've got our counter spell. I guess we'll summary judgment the Night of Autumn. We've got nine mana. It's eight mana to no escape and Castle Ventures. It's nine mana to play to fairy in both of these. So we could have played to fairy potentially. So if he doesn't play Nimizit, we do get to scry too. Instead we'll scry one. We'll pass on the island, although lands are good and control mirrors. Yes, amazing, we will review that. Okay. Alright, what two spells do we want? Uh, like a counter spell. Do you want Agent of Treachery? Maybe not. I think Finale of Glory is good.
Got the other drawn from dreams. And uh, let's get a. That seems good. All right, now we can gain control of something if we want. We have two counters. And we still have a Kefnet on board. I feel like he'll kill this turn, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, let's counter that. Yeah, I'll keep an Absorb on top. Potentially, the other thing we could have done there is just let it resolve. He can't cast any other spells. Mass Manipulation, or uh, uh, Play Finale of Glory. I'm not sure if we would have enough for Lethal, th lethal there, though. Uh, all right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'm just gonna pass and then we can cast Finale of Glory for lethal. Actually, we can't, it's uh, I forgot. We can't cast it without Teferi out of instant speed. But we'll just keep... I want to keep the Absorb and the Didn't Say Please open, which is 6 mana. Could put Chemistry's Insight on top. It's in his graveyard, which is a little odd. Alright. I'm not gonna fight that much over it. Just recast it. And then still have an absorb. Why didn't you send him to the command zone? He must have some kind of graveyard recursion he's planning on playing. can play Nimizit. We can exile it with Wander or gain control of it with mass manipulation. So now we can finale glory at instant speed during his turn. Okay.
We'll just put that third from the top. And then we'll scry and draw it. Is he gonna play as Nimizit? He knows we have Blood of Tears, Mally of Glory, Time Light. I can't play the, the finale of Glory Instant because I had to ferry out, but... The thought Collapse. See, I kind of want to draw that. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So at the end of his turn, I could play like Flood of Tears and then play Finale of Glory or Time Wipe and Finale. Let him kill my Teferi. to fairy okay that's fine that was foolish so it goes up to six or if he plays the knight sure Oh, our turn. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, and um, that's game. All right, well, there we go. Our first win versus a uh, new miss attack. In this reporting at least. And yeah, there you saw how Teferi won the long game there. We we're able to counter his new Mizzet and just apply pressure with our Kefnet. Got a lot of answers, a lot of control, and a lot of draw. Alright, so now we're playing as Oko, the other popular deck. I'll keep. Well, we got a prison realm for Oko, so there's that. And if he's got a Gilded Goose, we can unsummon it turn one. And he does not. Now Oko does this versus the fairy. Might be a bad idea. Two of the best three mana planeswalkers. Revel with your king. Wild and soft. I think a little merriment is in order. Fair. I'll keep that on top. Could bounce the food That's token. Like it. But I kind of want to keep it alive out of Questing Beast range. Although I do have an unsummon for Questing Beast. Hmm. Not too happy to see that. I 
forgot. Those blind to tyranny are lost. Just can't see it. Not sure if that was a good play or not. I just want to play against Shifting Ceratops. I mean, another white man and we can play in our cleansing. He's probably gonna ult that. He's not going to. I would unsummon it if he does, but. We're getting close to uh, Agent of Treachery. I'm starting to notice some lag in the game. Surely you must be famished. All right, well, let's pull things down a bit. You can still play Shifting Ceratops, give it haste. And I can follow it up with Prison Realm. If I draw land, I can play Prison Realm and Kefnet. But yeah, Shifting Ceratops is kind of annoying for us until we're able to play a board wipe like Planar Cleansing or Mass Manipulation because a lot of our ways to deal with things are blue when they're on the board. But we do have a lot of mass removal that balances that out. We can play Agent of Treachery if we get one more mana on his Oko. We can also use Teferi to bounce Agent and uh, recast it again. Not sure if this delay is related to the thing I just had where it was kind of a blip. And I, I, I do notice today I've been disconnected a few times um, from Magic Arena. Oh, maybe it's on my end now. Okay. It'll sound like we got attacked by shifting ceratops. Yeah, alright. Um so what do we want to do here? I guess we will prison realm. We drew a disdainful scope. And, oh. I think I'll keep that in case I need the third planes for planar cleansing. It's not necessarily a bad thing to have all these lands. We have mass manipulation, agent of treachery. So, a, a land is decent draw. Six mana. So, disdainful stroke. Probably going to be our play. Okay. So, we shaving three mana for his Oko, which is fine. I guess he's trying to pretend like he doesn't have three mana available for Oko. Why, why would you do that? Sure. Well, we gotta cut that out. And we've got Agent of Treachery available to us. Oh. Wow, he, he taps out. I thought he would want Ceratops, but. Uh, turned our Kefnat into an owl. Surprise there. Not really. Uh, hmm. Four, five, six, seven. So, all right, um, 
Uh, it'll take me one Oko. Could kill it, but I'm not going to. Hey, there we go. I invite you to change your ways. We're all ha having happy elk moments now. I don't think we want to push through damage. You know, he, he, he probably runs Nysa and he can make a attack with a haste three tree forest. So we'll leave these two on defense. And I'm fine letting Kefnet die. I mean, I could Teferi and bounce Kefnet, but I'd rather bounce my Agent of Treachery, so. I don't think the die trigger will go off. Okay. I can Elk the Feast Control. <laughs> Enchanting. Let's slow this down. Let's see what we get first with Augur before we use Teferi. Thought collapse. Okay. Alright, so we've got a decision to make here. We could keep the fairy alive. Or we could bounce the pixie. Or we could bounce our agent of treachery. I think I want to bounce the pixie That's here. Like Just keep initiative on my side for as long as possible. He might have his own mass manipulation. I'm sure he does. So I'll probably use Oko on Prison Realm to make it a 3-3 at some point here. That way Shifting Ceratops never comes back into play because it loses all abilities so the leave effect doesn't happen. No, it's actually a target artifact or creature. I can't do that. It doesn't do enchantments. Hmm. Still working here. Let's see. Let's, Let's we make an emote. I think that means we're not lagging. It shows that it's his priority. So, I probably want to play Narset. I may want to mass manipulation the Cavalier of Gales. I guess I could mass manipulation during his turn when I uptick to Fairy. If I did that, I might want to Elk the Cavalier.
I kind of want to use the Narset and just kind of see what I can find. Man, I wish whatever server issues are going on would be fixed. Looks like he had to concede because of time and server issues. I think we were in a good position though. I really liked where we were. Alright, well, let's see if Arena will let us play one more game. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep this. I like my turn two quench. And yeah, we're playing with the Oko again. Is this the same guy? I don't know. Oh, that's nice. You can click it and then it shows up. for Gilded Goose, but okay. This will just counter whatever he plays this turn rather than play to Fairy. Decision time. He does nothing. Okay. That's one thing you can do. Um. Uh, Alright, we'll pass too. I mean, we got Chemistry's Insight, so we can do nothing. I mean, sure, he keeps making little food tokens. Which is good later in the game for him. But I feel like passing favors the more control-heavy deck. Although he does have a creature on board. does kill Teferi if we were to bounce something other than the Fibble Tip, but... Now we could Prison Realm the Gilded Goose. Uh, I'm not sure that really does much. I mean, he's paying two mana and make a food token every turn. Without Oko, the food token doesn't really do much. I think we're just happy still here. We can opt and Chemist was inside at the end of his turn again, and we've got no escape to hard counter the Oko. You know, at a certain point, Oko is not as good as just playing the biggest card in your hand, whatever that may be. I don't want to let him get too much aggro out, so we countered that. And we still have the three mana to uh, counter his Oko. So. 
and we can still uh, cast an opt during his turn and Dolan's veto combined. He left his card on top of his library. I could change my cat another color, but it won't let me. Alright, uh, let's double and veto that. That's a strong card. I don't think I'm there yet, though. No, well, I'm there now. If I would have had another island in my hand, I would have kept, but that's okay. Um, Alright, we can finally play Teferi. We can uptick it or bounce Tibble Tip. If we bounce Tibble it, 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 um, see, does it shuffle? No. But the target of a spell. Alright, well. He got me there. Well, that, that means he has a less counter spell to stop us countering his Oko. Did it finally let me change the color here? I think it did. Ooh, it works now. This is the first. The cat has been broken for a while. Alright, well we... I think we do want to counter that. Is that a this spell? Oh man, it is a this spell can't be countered. I was gonna look, but I forgot. I knew it has protection from blue. Alright, well, my mistake, guys. Sorry about that. Sometimes these things happen. Alright, so we still have a counter spell for Oko. And we can still draw two if need to be and discard the planes. And we've got an absorb on top. Alright, so the chemistry's in sight. Discard the planes. It leaves us two mana. We can Tails end the Oko. Hmm. All right. Ultimately, we just want to keep this off the board, so that's why we didn't counter the Hypnotic Sprite's adventure ability. We can time wipe the board and have. Do we want to Tails end that? I don't think we do. Uh, one of the question is, do we want to tails end the mass manipulation from Cavalier?
I think we can counter that later with Mystical Dispute or Absorb. So we just let that happen. I'm surprised he doesn't do mass manipulation, but I guess right now that doesn't represent a lot of value for him. He could have also done a like a counter spell. Could have done negate. That might have been better, so he could resolve Oko. Uh, right, let that one resolve. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Have you ever lost a home? I could have countered that. I've got a grip full of counter spells, but I don't really know what that does on its own. You can untap one permanent. Things begin and end in nature. Finally, cast it. Miracle. We use Tails End, that way we can use Negate to counter a counter spell. Now we can untap a land, try it again for five, and we'll negate it. Nature flows with vigor. Could mystical dispute it as well. Mm, I think we should do that. Since negate's a hard counter, and mystical dispute is not. Oh, declined review. Alright, um. No, it doesn't leave us the mana we want. Alright, let's get rid of that. Planeswalker. Not again! Is it worth killing that? Probably. I don't think this is a race situation too much. Alright. So let's essence capture that. Hopefully we can start flipping something good with Kefnet. A bad idea. I don't think it's bad to be able to uptick to fairy here. We could bounce the food token. And he can't counter our counter spell because of to fairy. He can only cast things at sorcery speed. See what we can reveal with Kefnet now. Oh. All right. Let's bounce back. Oh, I've off. done the hero thing before. Should 
So if he uses it, dies. I still want to kill it. Tides always rise again. Could have been a lot of damage. Half his life total we dealt to him instead, but we desperately need to start drawing something other than lands now. Now Oko costs 9, 10, 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he can cast it here. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Alright, um. I don't really want to push damage. Because then he can attack this and I don't get the minus 3. If he plays one more land, he can play Oko. Alright, so he can't Oko this turn. And we get a Scry too. That's good news. I assist those humbled by the pursuit of knowledge. The sky is my domain. Sure it is. Alright, a time wipe would make me happy. Let's see if we can scry something good on top. Um, hmm, we can return an online permanent to its owner's hand. That seems good. I can't use the ability anyways. Alright, well... Um, what do we want to do here? No! I am not making this up as I go! That's an opponent permanent. I forgot that. Yeah, I, I didn't know how that interaction would work. I thought maybe if I revealed it, it would let me play the adventure part of the spell, but there you go. You can't do that now. Those blind to tyranny are lost. They just can't see it. So we could return that to our hand. Or we could leave it in play. Uh, no, we can't return it. There's only opponent controls. Okay. Why do I keep thinking that? Let's broaden your existence. I can't return that. I see beauty in the ordinary. I could return this, then he can't attack with the love beast thing. Hmm. All right, well, let's see what we can scry. The Wanderer. Oh, I don't want that. Return Kefnet. Could bounce the elemental bird. Let's try this.
Not sure whether I should have bounced the bird, but you know, we've got a lot of chances to draw something relevant. We've got so much, man. We've got 14 mana. Our opponent's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got four more lands than our opponent. We've scried a bunch to the bottom. Our opponent has gone through two more cards than we have this game. When he put two on top, that's bad for us. And he drew one. At least we get to scry with Sinister Sabotage. I don't think it's worth jumping that with Brazen Borrower. Scrap three lands down, pretty much. Alright, so we're gonna scry before we draw during our upkeep. Yeah, I wouldn't mind drawing like a board wipe effect. Alright, so. Crazy amount of lands we've scribed through. Do not be a land. Alright, much better. Oko costs 13 now. He's got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he can't quite cast it this turn. Ugin. Just gonna get him his shifting ceratops back. Oh, and a bioless and hydra. Alright, looks like this game's slipping away from us. All those land draws and scries we had to go go through kind of kicked us out of the game. Truth lies beyond. I mean, I can brazen borrower, bounce it with the fairy, return bio essence hydra to stall. Not really what I want to do. The sky is my domain. Oh, flood of tears. Hmm. Okay. I guess I should attack him, really. Your so I'm gonna flood tears. Um,
And essentially, I was just returning this to my hand so I could destroy all non-giants again. But this is a losing battle. We need a, a mass manipulation effect. Or a planar cleansing effect when he's got all of this stuff out. I'm going to play Prison Realm again on Ceratops. Most likely, although if you... Maybe I should save it for Ugin and then just... Use the giant to kill the Ceratops. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. And fear are the seeds of disaster. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. I have one with this deck from our opponent just drawing all the cards in their library. Quell your temper. He's got 12 mana, so he just needs to draw another land. They could spend 13 mana to play an Oko. I'm not sure Oko is particularly amazing in this position. I am humbled by the sky's divine power. Question is, do I want to bounce this with Borrower this turn or not? You can see there's a lot of synergy with Borrower and Giant and Teferi in this deck, River of Tears, to get additional recast. Alright, so he plays his Oko. The brambles of truth twirl and curl. I guess I should gain Choking control Oko on my next turn. Welcome to the feast. All right, so let's grab something. Oh, planar cleansing. Doesn't deal with Ugin though. Good planar cleansing and then Ugin. Collapse on our turn. Not sure if this game will come down to decking or damage. Bow to the howling winds.
cameo. Um. Yeah, let's counter that. That gives her too many, too much access to cards in her graveyard. Okay. Well, that means I'm probably going to play our cleansing next turn. So a brazen borrower and attack Mui and Ling, maybe? I, don't know. I invite you to change your ways. Shall miss your company. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And do mass manipulation for four. We have 11, 12, 13 mana. So one, two, three, four. deck myself by doing that. I've never even paid attention to Agent of Treachery's second ability. At the beginning of each end step, oh my god, I'm gonna draw six cards next turn. Alright, well, <laughs> I need to board wipe for one quick. I mean, I can, I can elk my Agent of Treacheries too. Which one is mine? Okay. is this that's his all right so we'll return mine now they have glory okay
right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's just shine in the game before we deck ourselves here. be able to win on our turn let's see we've got 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 damage plus the damage from oko and then we can use wonder to exile wicked wolf for game it's been a crazy long game busting beast okay Um, I don't need a block. So we'll just let Oko go to one. I'll think up a fun fate for you. All right. Thank me later. That's more like it. Wonder will pump Bios and Hydra more. I guess the bigger they are, well, you know. Alright, well, there's the finale to a Let's really long game. Existence. A lot of decisions we had to make. By everyone. And we had 12 more damage than we needed. Alright, well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing this deck. Uh, I think you have a lot of fun with this deck. There's a lot of decisions you can make. Um, and it's pretty versatile. But you do have to play fairly tight because it is a control deck. So, um, you know, it's it's not as uh, open to making mistakes as, uh, say, an aggro deck. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe. And if you would like us to playtest any particular deck, please let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.